Hey everyone, this is my run on Abyss Perfectum Part 5 featuring the infamous White Priest and two of his minions and this is actually going to be a no boss turn run which is quite possible because you can actually kill the boss from 80% to 0% just with Machina's BT mode alone. If you're not aware, at 79% the boss will warp its turn instantaneously and will get a turn so in a no boss turn run you do need to kill the boss before it reaches 79%. Or I should say, you do need to go into Makina's PT mode before the boss reaches 79%. At the start of the fight, the White Priest has perfect dodge and will only come out of hiding when you kill both its minions. So what you want to do is actually use the time when both minions are alive to complete your setup. And this is where it's quite important to actually use your heavy hitting nukes uh, while the minions are alive because the boss has relatively little HP and if you keep your hard hitting nukes like Garnet's BT Plus, it will deplete the boss's life too quickly and you will trigger the boss warp at 79%. So for, for that reason, this is why, uh, as you see right here, instead of using her BT Plus which will kill both minions, I decide to try to sneak in her S2 first and I cancel the launch here just to keep the minion alive. This is done on purpose so that the minion can absorb the BT Plus from Garnet and will allow me to sort of more or less complete my setup uh, while before the boss comes out of hiding. Looking at the turn order bar, the boss will get its turn next, but this is why I set the Seed Rain's LD call on Kai's. So the purpose of Seed Rain's call on Kai's is only to pull Makina's turn again so that he can move immediately after Kaiser's turn. You you can turn manipulate this way because at the start Kaiser uses hero support and so he will turn manipulate himself anyway. So giving him seed rain's call will guarantee you to at least be able to pull back uh, Makina to act immediately after Kais. The seed rain's LD call also very nicely upticks the orb because it deals 250k or more launch damage. So I'm very close to 79%. Right here I use Makina's LD just to inflict his Spiral Linchpin debuff on the boss so that you can get his follow-up attack during his PT mode. And here the boss life is getting pretty low so I decide to just cancel the launch. Again, if you bring the boss down to 79%, it will get an instant turn. So you need to go into Makina's PT mode before that. So setup is done. So Garnet's BT Plus Aura is up, the Kurasame Enchant Imperial is also up. The Makina actually is buffed with hero support from Kais. This is how he's able to launch every turn inside uh, BT mode. Kais has received a rework where his hero support now lasts for 8 turns instead of 1 and he buffs an ally with it. The seed range LD call on Kais is quite important. I've tried out a few different team comps and approaches. The main issue is the boss very easily reaches to 79% once it comes out of hiding because it doesn't really have a lot of HP. And you do need to allow Makina two turns, one to go to BT plus and then another to go into BT mode. So in most of my earlier attempts, I always trigger the boss instantaneous warp. But giving Kais the seed range LD call lets you pull Makina to act earlier than he is supposed to and this is how you can actually start his BT mode before the boss reaches 79%. I gave Makina the Elise LD call mainly because the Elise LD call is pretty stacked for the BT mode user. If you don't have it, there are alternatives. I think Kate Seif LD call is another great option for Makina as well. Or I guess any other LD call ability that sort of boosts his damage during PT mode should work, although I guess slightly less effective than the LSA LD call. Let's 
を貸してくれ負けられないんだ Anyway, that's it for this run. As always, hope it's been helpful. And if you like the content, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. It really helps a lot. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next Lufania fight. Bye!